ready? Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. It is time for the long-awaited day. You might be wondering, Laura, what have we been waiting for? Post-harvest maintenance. I know it doesn't sound very exciting because it's really not, but the John Deere 8335R was hooked up to a grain cart all harvest long since, I want to say since probably September 12th. That was a long time ago. And it had an oil change right before harvest, but we've put on a decent amount of hours during harvest. So it is time to change this tractor's oil. I believe the cab could also probably go for a clean out. This thing has been lived in. Gage did a pretty good job keeping it tidy during harvest, but it needs definitely once over. I consider ourselves lucky enough to have a heated insulated covered shop out of the wind to do this oil change in because it is windy outside so i'm just going to pull this thing in and we'll get the oil changed have you ever changed the oil on a tractor it is not as hard as it sounds it gets easier the more that you do it you really need to install like garage door openers or something in the tractors Oh, I honked and it opened. Magical. It's Grant sweeping out a spot for us. <laughs> I think he wants us to come in. There is still stuff in the way from the last maintenance we did to this. We actually had to fix a leak on the front of this thing. I don't want to hit my pickup. Let's see if I can make it in. You ran over the impact and the bucket, the JLG bucket. I thought I could split it enough. Nope. Does it still work? Does the bucket still work? I mean, it looks like it'll hold water. The handle. Hmm. That was a relief. If I broke that, I would definitely need to buy Grant a new one. We use that impact all the time. Everything is right where we left it from the last thing we did, which is replace an O-ring because we had a little bit of a hydraulic leak under here. If we approach the tractor, these are the steps to get into the cab. And there's two tires back here, two tires up here. Keep coming along, there's kind of a skinny little entrance here. Wow, magic, wrenches just appear. I need to see, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this one-handed. Ooh, do you get it? Yep. Just had to get the big one out. Mm-hmm. It'll be hot too. Oh. Ooh. At least you made it into the bucket. Yeah. Are we gonna need a second bucket? Nah, it'll be good. Okay. All right, well that's draining. Let's just do a little bit of a walk around on this tractor because you've most recently seen it hooked up to grain cart. This is the tractor that Grant and I purchased last year. Grant has totally disappeared behind the tires. You can't even see that he's there. This tractor, oh, there he is. This tractor used to have huge LSW tires on it. 
makes these duels look really small and really skinny. We had them on as the green cart tractor last year, and then we also did some tillage with them. We had to take them off and put these Optitracks on because we still hill and cultivate our corn. And we do that when the corn is up and those LSWs would have run over our crops. So we put these tires back on. They fit perfectly, a row in between, a row on either side. We farm on 30 inch rows. So we can't have the LSWs on all year round. So we opted to have these Optitracks put on, still from Titan Goodyear. They have been treating us well. We have worn off all of the nubbies that were on them when they were first put on. They have treated us well so far. Hooked up to this tractor right now, we have an Orthman track tiller, which is what we have been using to close our pivot tracks. And as soon as we get the oil changed, the tractor will go back out to the field to continue doing that job. I brought the last two kittens in the shop to hunt around, hoping they catch a mouse that has been wandering around. The last time I used the shop bathroom, there was a mouse running around and I screamed so loud. So I'm hoping they'll catch it for me. Smooth. Something interesting, these John Deere filters are exposed, so if there would be anything like metal filings or shavings or anything in the oil, we'd be able to see. This is a new one. We also have a new O-ring put on and took some of the oil and put it around so we'll get a nice seal on it. I'll just put it right like that. Want to get it snug, but not over tight. These are the fuel filters. And while we're changing the oil, we're going to change those as well. It should save this. Any containers we can put it in? Uh, how about that busted bucket mm, I ran well, over? I want it to be halfway clean so we can like dump this fuel into the power washer. Ah. Oh. Don't worry, I'll mix gasoline and diesel. This thing was completely empty and the nozzles broke, so I haven't used this can in a long time. So this bottom cap is the water separator, so you can see if you have a water built up in your fuel, but it disconnects from this portion of the filter and it's plastic and it doesn't like to come off. There we go. What are you doing under here? Yeah, open one of those up for me. Yeah. Are these hydraulic filler filters? Yes. These are like the kings of filters. I can't even fit it all in the frame. There are a lot of moving parts on this front end here. Lots of spots that need to be greased. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both sides. In typical grease gun fashion, it is out of grease. So, going to unscrew just a tad bit. Yup. Out. Are you really using a grease gun if you don't get grease everywhere? Even with the funnel, I spilled some. Come on in, Pepper. Come on.
Check out what my dad got me as an early Christmas present. Thanks, Dad. All right, you ready? You're filthy out here. Grant was in there and cycled the key. And it pumped fuel to fill the filters. Ready? Yep. Let's not show that to the Titan Tire people. No. Sorry, guys. So this rim has been leaking. There's a little bend in it. And I actually think Grant fixed it. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, maybe not a total fix, but it's definitely better than it was. a nicer way to pop bubbles, Grant. You don't have to hit them like that. Oh, even more now. It'll, It'll work, work for, for today. <laughs> on my face yeah you do have something on your face you're looking at me like i have something on my face you don't look you're, at my you're eyes. covered in oil i feel a little greasy it's not my favorite feeling in the world but i am really glad that we got all of our post-harvest maintenance done for that particular tractor here's a rundown of everything that we did <clears throat> we changed the oil we changed the fuel filters we changed the hydraulic filters those were those really really big ones blew out the air filters we greased the front of it, the front parts the of the tires, and then also the three-point. Is there anything else I'm missing, Grant? Hydraulic, uh, hydraulic filters? Yep, hydraulic filters. Either way, we ran down the list and got all of our post-harvest maintenance done for that particular tractor. Except wash it. We didn't wash it. We didn't wash it, and we didn't clean out the cab. But Gage is going out to close some more pivot tracks. But I believe our work in the shop for this evening is done. So... Thank you for watching. I know it's not quite as exciting as a harvest day, but it's important and as much of a part of farming as harvest is. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.